sorry, phone. Ugh, start that again. All right, guys, let's jump into video three for our triple upload, as the quarter would say. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. So Dane introduces Dane Dane introduces Bill withholding pay from congressmen during government shutdown. Others join. I actually support this. I think that if the government is not functioning right now, then the people that are in, in power, so to speak, shouldn't be getting paid. After all, Trump hasn't been paid for almost two years now because he doesn't want the money. So, you know, why? Look at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that if the, if the Democrats and the Republicans can't decide and the government gets shut down, both should go without pay until it's sorted. I, I imagine then it would get sorted a lot quicker. But let's jump into it. Republican Montana Senator Stephen Daines introduces a bill from the on the Senate floor Thursday that would withhold the pay from members of Congress during future government shutdowns. Daines' introduction of the bill, sponsored by Republican Ten Texas Senator John Cornyn, comes after uh, Daines uh, announced he sent a letter requesting the Secretary of the U.S. Senate withhold his pay during the ongoing partial shutdown of the federal government. Um, I was talking to someone the other day. They said the actual government's running at about 75%. So it's only roughly about 25% that's shut down. But, yeah. Uh, members of Congress are sent uh, sent to Washington, D.C. to represent the great people of their state and keep the federal government open, working and funded. So it's simple. If they can't do that, they shouldn't get paid. No work, no pay, Danes told the Daily Caller Foundation after the bill was introduced. The No Work, No Pay Act introduced by Danes would make it so that members of Congress would not be paid if they cannot keep the government funded. His move as not to accept pay was followed by many of his followed uh, colleagues, such as Cohen, who said he was excited to join Danes in co-sponsoring the bill. He echoed Danes' message to that members of Congress should not be paid while government agencies are shut down. The Senator is very hopeful his colleagues will follow suit, and this is a very important issue in their bringing accountability to Washington, D.C., Dane's Deputy Communications Director Katie Scholler told the DCNF. Uh, in the House, Republican Utah John, uh, Representative John Curtis introduced a similar bill which would make it unlawful to pay U.S. Senators and Representatives during government shutdowns. Republican Texas, Repub uh, sorry, Republican Texas Representative Dan Koshaw also announced Thursday that he would refuse to be paid until the government is open, saying that if he asks the Chief Administration Officer to withhold his pay until both sides can come to an agreement on border security. Democrats aren't the only people who want this shutdown to end. Republicans have tried to compromise, but Democrats won't come to the table and the negotiation in good faith. I cannot let federal employees take the fall for Democrats' grandstanding, so I'm withholding my pay until this partial shutdown ends, Croucher told the DC, DCNF. Uh, Republican Indiana... Go away. Republican Indiana Representative Greg Pence, another freshman congressman, released a video Thursday saying that he too would not accept his pay until the southern border is secured. Echoing President Trump's message, Trump travelled to the southern border on Thursday to meet with immigration, customs enforcement officials. Pence campaigned on the fighting of the opioid crisis plaguing the country, something he considers a top priority and not a partisan issue. Quote, We are facing serious opioid crisis and it seems that some Democrats refuse acknowledging this, Pence told the DCNF Thursday afternoon. It's important that we work to solve the crisis, which includes securing our border. Hancock Country, for example, had 50 overdose, overdose deaths between 2014 and 2015, and 29 of those cases opioids were found. This isn't a partisan issue. 
Oklahoma Republican uh, Representative Kevin Hearn is donating his salary from the shutdown to veterans organizations, saying they deserve the money over members of Congress in the midst of a partial government shutdown. I have long held the belief that if you don't do your job, you shouldn't get paid. Being elected to Congress shouldn't exempt us from the standards that any employee would hold. If Congress can't fund the government, then we shouldn't be paid for failing to do our constitutional duty. And told the DCNF Thursday night. As the government entered its 19th day of the partial shutdown Wednesday, five Republican lawmakers, Ohio Representative Bob Gibbs, North Carolina Representative Mark Meadows, and Indiana Representative Susan Brooks, Colorado Representative Scott Turbin, and Virginia Representative Morgan Griffiths introduced legislation that required federal workers to be paid during the shutdown. While Democrats continue to play politics with border security, federal employees dedicate, dedicate their mission to keeping America safe and our borders secure are still going to work knowing they will be missing their paychecks, Gibbs said in Wednesday's statement. Trump was on the Capitol Hill Wednesday meeting with Republican senators to discuss the shutdown and the border for funding. After the meeting, he said Republicans were, un uni uh, sorry, were unified. The president also warned Democrats might declare a national emergency if he cannot come to an agreement soon. So look, at the end of the day, I actually like this. Um, I like the fact that, that it seems to be mostly Republicans, or that, that could just be the data caller just reporting on that. Um, but yeah, it seems to be that at the end of the day, it's, it's a great thing that these, these senators are standing up saying, no, I do not want pay. I, I'm not going to get paid while we can't do our jobs. And, and I fully support this. I, I'm surprised it hasn't already been put through. I'd like to see how many of the Democrats are offering to take the same stance. Probably none, but I'm sure there's one or two. Um, but yeah, guys, look at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like this. I, I like this for the people mentality that, that goes through politics. And, and at the end of the day, I think this is a really, really good thing. And, and look, I'm not surprised it seems to be overwhelming Republicans that are doing it. They are more the party for the people at the moment. So good on them for doing it. I, I think that Crowshaw guy was the guy that's got one eye, isn't it? But yeah, look, at the end of the day, I, I like this. I support this. I think this is a really, really good thing. And I'd like to see this get passed. Um, and I think it will also make the governments go through and, you know, make them work this out faster. Um, it will stop a lot of this stonewall tactics when the Democrats, for example, start not getting paid. You really think uh, Alexandria Ocas, whatever her name is, will keep going to work if she's not getting paid? She was already complaining about the, the amount of money it costs to live. So, yeah, I think she would be more agreeable if she doesn't get paid. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think this is a bad thing? Do you think at the end of the day that this should be passed? Do you think that every government should do this? Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.